Wow, I had to go all the way back. I looked it up. I didn't know what to do. So what I did was I looked it up to find out that I had to go around the house, go around and surprise him from behind, and actually tag him. So. So what happened was, was that I actually, I didn't know what to actually do because I was trying to go to other world, but I realized I probably forgot, I forgot to talk to Piglet, but I never knew. I thought that was pretty much it. So it's been that long since I actually played it, so <laughs> I forgot about it. So I looked it up and found out that you had to actually go around and tag him. That was really stupid because I didn't know. So that was dumb. I just didn't realize that I forgot about it. So at least I got like their uh, sword, well, Donald's new weapon and Goofy's new weapon from the shop. I got from the last part, I actually stocked up from some items too. So it doesn't matter though. At least I'll, once I finish this uh, torn page that I actually got, I'll just be better prepped up for the other stages anyway. So it's not like it really matters, but I actually had to look it up because I didn't know what else I was missing because I was trying to go to other worlds. I was trying to go to other worlds and I realized that the worlds that are like battle level 6 and the other one was like battle level 5, I couldn't go to those worlds and I thought that I probably skipped something back in this, this book of the torn page because there was nothing else I could pretty much do. So I went back and found out that and looked it up and tried to see what else I was missing. So I actually had to tag Piglet, Piglet from behind when I was actually going in front of him. Um, back in the first part I was actually I kept going in front of him and I couldn't talk to him so I was actually supposed to go around and just kind of surprise him so just to continue with the book so I didn't know that so that's pretty much what happened so I'm continuing this <laughs> I never would have known if you could only chase away those bees I'm quite certain I could get a small morsel of honey would you help me get some honey Oh, hello there, Owl. Good day, Pooh. What are you doing? Using a balloon to get some honey? Splendid idea. Allow me to offer a few pointers. <clears throat> now, Pooh can get honey by floating up this tree with his balloon. The honey is inside the tree hollows, not the beehives you see here. There's quite a lot of honey in these holes. If Pooh gets too close, the bees will come out to protect their honey. If they get to Pooh, they'll pop his balloon, lock onto the bees, and swap them away. The more time, the more time Pooh has at each hollow, the more honey he can eat. There's more honey higher up too. If jumping from branch to branch, oh, if jumping from branch to branch proves difficult, try the rush command. Rush can help you catch up to pool quickly, but it isn't fully reliable. Good luck. But that was really crazy, though. I never would have figured that out because it was been, it's so it was so long since I actually played this, and only had like the the second one. So that was pretty dumb. I never would have figured that out. So. Got him. Ugh, they're gonna pop his balloon. Oh boy. I slipped off the branch. Great. Let's 
So I was a little rusty on that. I'm trying to get used to this. So hopefully I can get do a little bit better. So when I hit him, I can gain an extra boost jump to the, the the nearest branch. That didn't work out. Oh, one more, once I was coming up there, <laughs> I hate this. Why was he locking on the piglet there? I wasn't trying to do that. Why would he go back to the same hole, though? See, I hate that. I thought it would actually put you on a automatically put you on a, the nearest branch once you hit him. I guess not though. Well, finally I made it up here. 50 seconds left. But I didn't even see him. You saw how fast they came. I'm trying to go for a hundred if I can. Look at that. The keyblade didn't even attack the bee. It went right through him. I don't know how it missed. Oh well. I was trying to go for a hundred. That sucked. And I didn't know the rush ability will be at the bottom. It only enables the the rush when you start from the bottom. At least I'll be able to get a hundred, hopefully. No, it's only one second. I got 99. Well, that was yummy in my tummy, but there is room for a bit more. Yes, the torpedo turned into a new item, a nature spark. So is that it now? So each torn page will turn into a new item. I wonder what that nature spark is. I'm gonna take a look at that. Um, what is it? Oh, here it is. A gem emanating a strange vitality. Give it to the fairy godmother. So, I guess we have to exit now, so now that's it for the torn page, officially. I can't believe I still skipped that part, though. I didn't know. I thought that was pretty much it with what you had to do with Piglet, but I didn't know that. If only I would have realized it earlier. So now we have to give this to the Fairy Godmother, the Nature Spark. <laughs> Oh, another summon gem. Oh, it's a summon gem. Bibby body boo. So I got Bambi. If you find any more of these stones, bring them to me. So let's try out Bambi. So I guess we'll, I'm going to just split it here and we'll try out Bambi in the next part.